Bolt has recently introduced this import from Figma feature that allows you to import a Figma design into Bolt.new and then convert it to a fully functional website. I have tested some other Figma plugins that allows you to convert your Figma design into a functional code, but none of those plugins were very accurate. Either these kind of plugins are very expensive or they simply just don't work. So in this video, I'm going to test this brand new functionality from Bolt.new and see how it converts a Figma design into a functional project. If you remember, v0.dev also introduced some similar kind of functionality where it allows you to import a Figma design by providing the URL of that design. But I have tested that and this is how it used to work. It just used to like take a screenshot of that Figma design and then try to convert that screenshot into a landing page kind of thing. And that was not very accurate. It doesn't meet our requirements. So in this video, we're going to see that how accurate this functionality from bold.new is. All right, so I have got this Figma design of this high quality landing page. I really like all of the details and all of the images on this landing page so you can simply just go to bold.new open bold.new just log in after that simply just click on this import from figma button after that you need to now provide figma url so this is how you need to provide that url so you can simply just go to your figma design then click on that layer that you want to import and right now we got this home page layer so you can simply just click on this home page layer and then simply just right click click on this copy link to selection simply just click on this option from here and after that you can simply just go back to bold.new provide that URL in here, then click on import Figma frame into Bolt on you. Simply just click on this option and now it will actually start fetching this design. It will start generating this code. And just within a minute, it has created this design. So this is a complete project from Bolt.new with all of the source code. So this is the source code. This is our homepage.tsx component and it has like converted. This is the code that it has generated for that homepage design. So let's just see how accurate this is. I mean, apparently it looks fine. I mean, it, it doesn't look that bad. Let me just check this mobile view. Mobile view is not that good. It's just all over the place. But let me just go to back, go back to desktop view. So if you just go there, let me just compare that right now because it is not on a wider screen. So that's why maybe it is not adjusting it properly. So let's just try to show full screen and still. Okay, so let me just open my Figma design. So this is the Figma design. This is my hero section. So first thing that you will notice that there is this much gap in this uh, header section. So this is the header and right now there is no gap in here. We can actually like fix all of that inside code. So that's not a big problem. All right, so after that, what I'm concerned about is actually importing all of these different images and then placement all of these images should be accurate. So then we can see there is this image and then there is this image. So you can see there is this image, this image, and then there is this icon in here. So there's this icon and again, this is placed accurately. I'm, apparently this is like looking fine. Uh, then there is this Google Play Store image, the proper icon with uh, rounded corners and everything. But in here, if we see, it has a background, which is a black background. So that is not very ideal. So this can be enhanced and modified. Okay, other than that, we can see this is a welcome habit tracker. So this is the welcome habit tracker text. That's fine. Then there's this icon, then there's this icon. So it has placed this icon and this icon. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, then there is about us section. So about us section, this is about us. And then this is about a section with its image. Perfect. Then there is features. So this is features and then in features, we can see we got all of these four options with accurately this gradient on this left side. We can see there is this gradient and we have got this gradient on this left side, which is very accurate. This is amazing. Okay. So again, then there is this application snapshots. So let me just go there application snapshots. Okay, fine. So it has created a, a, a scroll instead of like pressing all of these different images like this. So it has created a scroll. So now we can actually go back to bolt.new and ask it to like place it instead of scroll but like this because in terms of scroll there's a lot of gap in here it is not looking that accurate so i mean we need to just like give it a prompt and then we can attach screenshot of this particular section and ask it to make it look like that all right so after that then there is this contact us section so contact us section has very very accurately designed so you can see right here we can see this is a gradient this is a gradient right here we can see there is a this gradient there's this gradient and after that there is this image there is this contact us form. 
so it has created all of that as expected let's just see at the footer so let's just see if it has covered so perfect Foot, footer looks perfectly fine the color of these icons is black let me just see if the color no the color of these icons is white so and these also the icon type is different in here so icon type is these are these are the filled icons these are the different icons so icon type is different but yeah overall it has like kind of done a good job all of the figma to code converter tools out there i mean the bold dot new has done a better job in here it has converted this entire i mean the figma design into a proper code a proper functional page there is very minimum to do now i mean we can start asking it to now make start making changing so yeah, this import from Figma functionality in Bolt.new is comparatively more accurate. The only problem that I see is we can only import one layer. So let's suppose if you're working on a complex project where you have like hundreds of screens. So in that case, you'll have to import all of those screens separately one by one. And again, you cannot import those screens in an existing project. You will have to do that in a new project. So that is one uh, thing that I saw in, in, in this, but this is like good enough to like convert a one landing page into a functional uh, website. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This is the dashboard design. So this dashboard design is so dynamic. So this one is when you click on a top 10 competitor button. So then it shows this. When you click on this competitor product button, then it shows this. Then when you click on this overpriced products button, and then it shows this so this dashboard is very dynamic and it has like all of these different options this is like one screen one dashboard but it has like all of these different options in here that opens when you click on any of these buttons from the left side so this is i mean we cannot convert this design in how uh, you in bolt.new because we'll have to do that one by one we'll have to like first like get this layer copy that link to this layer and then ask bolt.new to convert this figma design into source code but when we come to like uh, this second option which is compatible products so we'll have to either provide a screenshot or then we'll have to like either provide that link to that layer again and then we'll have to do the linking of the of that particular page with that button so that can actually be a bit more complex for us so still is a good solution by bold.new but it is not for a complex project it is good for a simple landing page so give it a try i'm currently using the free version of bold.new you can just like try it for free and see that how good it is to convert figma designs into actual functional websites if you have any further questions just leave your comments in comment section i see you next video bye bye